Hey, it's Rob Law Anderson in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and I am here with Rockwell and C Magazine and Tattoo.com, and I'm here with Francesco, Fran what's, what's, what's your Francisco. name? Francesco, correct. I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, what band are you in? Devil You Know. I know Devil You Know, and I'm very excited to see the show tonight because even though you guys are, are your John Sankey interview is in here, thanks to Mr. Jason Tyler, um, contributor that you guys know pretty well. He was on tour with you a couple oh, yeah. years ago. Really I've, well. I've never seen you guys live. Your little sound check right now was the first time I've ever heard you guys live at all. So that was, I got goosebumps. Even though I've had the chance, when Jason Tyler was on the road with you a couple years ago when you guys were touring Black Label Society, I could have seen you in Philly because I was in Atlantic City the night you played Philly. And I could have seen you in New York because I was in New York when you played New York. I never got the chance to see you, so I'm super, super excited about tonight. The band is kind of a super band. It's for people who don't know the devil you know. Um, you got a lot of big players in this band, including yourself. So tell us who you played with before and so the background, the names and backgrounds of the other guys in the band. Yeah. Uh, I was playing the band All Shall Perish uh, before, and then Howard obviously in Kill Switch Engage, uh, Ryan, our bass player, Bleeding Through, and John used to be in Devolved, and then he did a bunch of work with Fear Factory and Dino and like all his, you know, all that stuff. Small bands, just, just, just tiny bands. But you guys came out with They Bleed Red last November on Nuclear Blast. Tell people why they should run out and get that album now if they haven't already. Yeah, I think, I don't know if you got the chance to listen to our first record. I mean, you probably did, but I'm saying like people out there. And uh, I don't know, I think like it's, it just shows that this, like really the, the evolution of the band is like it's taking, it just like the sound improved. I think now more and more we know what we want to do and, uh, and that literally translates all that. You know, all those ideas into that record, and uh, we'd really worked hard of, uh, on that record. And uh, we worked with a great producer, Josh Wilbur, was a producer for the last, I don't know, four, uh, four or five Lamb of God records. And uh, he's like Gojira, and he's just an amazing producer. And that was like a perfect match. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been awesome. And uh, yeah, happy with the release. And uh, and finally, we get to play live because uh, you know we haven't. We, we released a record and we we're in Europe touring and then now finally we're in the States. So. Excellent. Now we got the the music side of it. I mean, you're on tour right now. You're, you're not with Atreyu tonight. Atreyu was actually at Musink tonight. We were at Musink the last two days, um, but not tonight. We're here with you, of course. Um, let's get into your tattoos. Okay, every tattoo is personal in some way. Everybody, every tattoo still tells a story. So, what's your most personal or favorite tattoo, and why? Uh, well, it's kind of like a with me and tattoos. I have the obviously I'm uh, I'm not American. I come from Italy, and uh, I have one of my best friends who's a tattoo artist in Italy, and he's actually one of the first tattoo artists. He's been like tattooing people forever, and um, yeah, and so it's like. The fact that he's one of my best friends, it's kind of like a thing that every time I go back to Italy, we get together and I mean sometimes just to drink a beer, sometimes like okay let's work on something. And uh, a couple, uh, I don't know, a couple of times I would go back and the guy's like oh I'm on vacation so I don't get to you know do anything with it but yeah like a lot of this year I just started with this. And this is gonna obviously keep going. And um, this is something that I started with him, like, and that was many, many years ago. And it just started with the shoulder. It was like a really small thing. And it's like him being a tour artist, like telling me, he's like, go big, because that's when you're really gonna be happy. And I was like, oh, I don't know, just the whole shoulder? I don't know if I want more of that. And then as soon as that was done, like months later, I call him, was like, we gotta, you know, do more. You're hooked, you had to do more. Oh, yeah. So what's his name and where is he based in Italy? It's uh, Andrea Bobo, B-O-B-B-O. Uh, -B -B and uh, he's based in uh, the area where I'm from, Treviso. And uh, so it's northern Italy and the east. And he's literally one of the, like recently I've discovered, and it was really in a, a tattoo magazine in Italy actually. He is one of the first tattoo artists in Italy who opened the shop. And it was like an official tattoo artist. He has like a bunch of awards. He's, he came to America a bunch of times to tattoo people. He's amazing. 
and it's such a nice guy. So it's like it, it, to me, that's that's one of the things. Like I don't know, I haven't like really experienced like the tattooing part with other guys. It's just because he's one of my best friends. It's just like it's kind of like this thing we get back after like a year and not seeing each other and just like hang out and like getting tattooed. It's like I don't know, it's really cool. How old were you when you got your first tattoo? I think 23 or something like that. Okay, so your parents didn't care. Or you didn't care what your parents thought? Or did they did they have any issues with it? I mean, Italian culture is a little different. Um, yeah. I think by that time, my parents knew it was kind of different with like a lot of things, with the music thing. And it was like, uh, you know, I'm moving to America to be a musician. That's already, you know, it's like tattoo is like, yeah, whatever. Does any of your ink relate to music in any way? Or are you planning on getting any? that might relate to bands you are in, bands you've been in, et cetera, or maybe a band that you're a fan of? Uh, not at the moment, and I don't know if it's something that, uh, I mean, to me, it's kind of like, all goes back to, I don't know, like, things, and it's like, I used to be, like, crazy about martial arts, and, uh, and like, Japanese culture's always, like, was really fascinating me, and uh, this is, like, when I started, it was kind of, like, the idea of, like, Japanese, so Chinese kind of like this is actually well my fr uh, my brother was uh, actually went to the university to study like uh, Chinese and you know how like Chinese and uh, the old Japanese it's like one of the different languages like you can write that like can be read and understood by both you know it's like it's it's the ancient kind of like Chinese but then like even if you're like in Japan and you study literature you can it's kind of like Latin for us and so my brother studying this, he had this book, and then it's like we, you know, I was going over like some lines that I thought would be cool, and in this case, a little over the top, obviously. And uh, so this means as fast as light. So it's like me being the guitar player playing guitar. I thought like, hey, it's perfect. So it does relate to music and yeah. relate to who you are yeah. and yeah. how your style, how you yeah. play, etc. Yeah, so, yeah. well. You've got a show to play tonight, and uh, so we're not going to keep you all night. I want to thank you, and I want you to... People, this is the old issue. You can't get this anymore. It's sold out. Francesco's here is getting one um, because his bandmate, John, again, thanks to Jason Tyler, put his interview in there. But uh, you'll see this interview on Tattoo.com, and you'll also see it in the next issue of Rockwell Unseen magazine coming out in a couple weeks. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Wow.